Howdy, howdy, y'all. It's time for cake. I have been messing around a little bit. I took myself another little trip to the nether, picked up some more ore. I got to use my lovely new emerald uh, silk touch pick. Let me find that puppy. This thing right here. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, I put a bit of wear and tear on that thing now. And I have to say, it's uh, it's worth it. Um, I have managed to get hold of some cobalt, some ardite, and rather a lot of other stuff. I mean, for example, here I've got 38 diamond ore. Now, in nether terms, of course, that's only 19 nether diamond ore. But hey, you cook it down, it doubles. I like that. I've got a fair bit of redstone, a fair bit of lapis. Uh, quite a bit of glowstone, some nether quartz, and uh, actually, actually, let me go on over here. Whoops, let's not leave that line around. Someone might get hurt. Um, this is what the tally is starting to look like. So you can see quite a lot of tin, some copper, a uh, fair bit of mithril, lots of mithril. I'm probably going to make some mithril armor soon. I've got this calendrite stuff and uh, shadow iron, my dacium, which uh, apparently turns to gold real easily, Ignatius, uh, the Viroxeries, which is the poison metal, Seruclase, Aldorite, and there's some more cobalt, uh, a lot of copper, Infuscolium, I haven't found any more rubricium, zinc, platinum, promethium, tin, tin, gold, silver, magnesium, steel. I want to make a better bow because this thing this is getting old and it you know it kind of sucks frankly so I got myself 14 steel ore and I'm gonna dump that in here oh I made some dark steel balls because look at what these things do to the side mill is that awesome or what I uh, made them over here uh, just coal and obsidian and iron bars and that it you know it's worth it it is totally worth it so I'm gonna throw this steel ore in here and let the sog mill mess with that a little bit and while it's doing that come to think of it so this is kind of a, a silly little start and ender IO you can see that this thing holds 100 K RF so does this one and so does this one but they don't really 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 that's not a lot that is not a lot according to like the dimension thing I mean you've got dimensions that take 5,000 K or 5,000 RF a tick that means one second it goes through a hundred thousand RF so this is not gonna carry us into another dimension and I kinda wanna get there I wanna go dimension hopping I think that sounds fun and exciting so I got to looking in what's available in Ender IO I was trying to see if there was a watering can. There ain't. And let's see. Um, basic capacitor bank. Uh, these will hold up to a million RF. They use four basic capacitors, block of redstone, some iron. We can do all this. Now the other one we were looking at here, the five million RF, um, takes uh, double layer capacitors or energetic alloy an energetic alloy is made with glowstone which I have redstone which I have and gold which I have so there's a couple ways to approach this little problem here uh, I am of a mind to start out well let's look at that I think yeah if I use this stuff then I need to make two of these what that means is I can make two of these and I can upgrade them, I believe. Um, I figure it will allow me to, hopefully. Hopefully I'm not wrong. So let's look into this one. I need four double layer capacitors, and each of those takes two basic capacitors. So I'm going to need eight basic capacitors. So let's start with that as our, as our thing. Um, oh my goodness, that makes a lot of steel. I think I'm going to have a lot more than I need. Um, yeah, wow. Um, what was I saying? Capacitors? Yeah, I'm going to have to cook down some gold for that to happen. 
Well, let's look at let's look at another aspect of this. Let's try something else that I haven't messed with actually yet. Let's put that there and put that here and do that thing. And it shows these chests. So what I want to do here, I think, is push. Push. And that should shove stuff out into the chest. And it does. And then from this one, I'm going to want to pull. There. So now, I ought to be able to take... Um, Where's my gold ore? No, I had some. I got my dacium too. So let's see here. Let's get gold ore and copper. No, my dacium ore. All right, let's set those two up. Okay, there's the gold, there's the mydacium, and it immediately sucked down the gold ore, so I take that as a good sign. And we're running low on power here already, so uh, yeah, time to time to get a little bit of lava on. Let's put that in there, take out our bucket, put that in there. Okay, so that's going to get us... Um, that's going to get us some gold and copper, which is exactly what we needed. And I'm going to take some of this here steel dust. In fact, I'm going to take uh, three blocks worth. And uh, I cooked down some manuelin, but I haven't made a pick yet. Um, I've only found one thing so far that needed manuelin to mine, and uh, there was only one block of it. And I can't make armor out of it that out of one block. Uh, that was sanguinite, so I'm kind of having mixed feelings about actually pouring. That's cool. I do like that. About actually pouring the um, stuff to uh, make the pick, which is kind of silly. I just figure that in short order, uh, I may decide I want to do something else with it. So let's see. I got a fiery bowstring. I got a bow limb cast, I got a large plate cast. Now the trick here is to use all this stuff, I'm gonna end up needing to have a block of, a multiple blocks of some kind of metal because I need to make a tool forge. So let's see what metal we have the most of. Well, I'm looking at a lot of copper here. I mean, I'm looking at a lot of copper. So let's take that copper and see if we can make enough copper to make this a thing. Man, it is chugging through this stuff. There's our mydacium dust. Now the way that works is mydacium plus redstone or glowstone equals gold. Mydacium plus iron or coal equals gold. It Mydacium plus any damn thing pretty much equals gold is what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's going to be useful. Aluminum brass. Man, you can turn aluminum brass into gold. That's kind of awesome. I'll probably end up doing it with tin powder or something. Because uh, tin powder is, you know, tin, you need a lot more copper than you do tin. And for some reason I've got about as much tin as I do copper. So, um, but yeah, this seems to blend with anything to make gold. So that's that's cool and stuff, I guess. And it's chugging on the copper ore now. Nice. So nice. Okay, so let's come on over here. And I want to make a large plate cast. No! Of course I can melt it down again. That's the only good thing about making that mistake. Uh, assuming that there's enough. And there is. Oh my goodness, that used all my man willing. Okay, let's put you in there. Let's put the steel on the bottom where we thought it was. <laughs> let's try that again. All right, let's see how's this going right now. It's cranking right along. Man, this is making me wish I had multiple smelteries now. And that's a pretty crazy thing to be wishing for this early in the game, i got to say. 
Okay, I'm going to need a little more lava on this one here. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and kick some steel in. There's our plate. So let's take the plate cast out. And I'm going to put that sucker back over here. And I'm going to put my bow limb cast down there. And yeah, see, I'm trying to make a steel bow. That's my goal here. That is what I'm into. Wow. That is just... Man, it just tore through all that. I'm I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we're going to work on that shortly. Crazy. Crazy, crazy fast stuff. There's our man Willen again. I got some blood in there somehow. Something... Something went skinny dipping in there and died. I don't know what exactly. Okay, and it, it's building back up again. All right, so we're going to want um, roughly two copper for every one gold. And we want to make eight of these things, and they're one copper each. Okay, so let's try that on as a starting point. Yeah, and we'll need redstone, too. The fun never stops. All right, steel is on the bottom. Steel bows look pretty awesome. I was comparing the stats, and they look pretty good. And I, I got jumped by flame spiders, so I was able to make a fiery bowstring. I also got jumped by hellfish. And man, nether silverfish just suck. Say no to nether silverfish. They are a bad thing. Do not do not do that. Okay, I'm just going to put two more of these in. And I'm going to make the rest copper. And my goal is going to be to pull that uh, molten steel out as a block shortly. Man, is it done with all that? Well, shoot, I'm going to feed it more ore. What else have I got here? Well, for starters, we can throw some iron in there. Tin, more copper, all this other stuff. I don't really know what a lot of that does. I need to really buckle down and try to sort out what all this stuff does. I mean, it's it's hard. There's so much. Okay, so that's seven. There's my copper. Why do I only have seven ingots of copper? Okay, well, there's my steel. copper and I'm pretty sure we figured out that you can't mix copper and gold but let's just check that on check that let's see molten copper okay aluminum and zinc and copper makes brass that's what zinc is for okay so I can make bronze aluminum brass and brass. Can't make anything else from it. Fair enough. Okay. So there's that. And I'm going to actually want 36 more copper to make my tool forge with. Man, this is crazy the amount of stuff we're processing here. Actually, I'm going to put one more copper in so I can dump that out as a, as a single thing. Let's get our gold coming. Wild. Okay. And how's this doing over here? It's just chewing through it. Um, I'm simply amazed. It's just chewing through it like mad. Alright, so now we got our nine copper. Let's dump that. 
and let's give it nine more copper. I'm going to put that bow limb cast away. Let's see, now that's steel, that's steel, those are bow parts. So I need three more of these, I think, to make a tool forge. Let me see here. Tool forge. Yeah. Yep, and I need, oh, I need more seared bricks. Oops. I've got two, and I need three. Hmm. I'll be able to fix it. I have a plan. I have a plan. It's going to take a little more time messing around with the smeltery. Tell you what, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to call you all back in just a second when I'm done smelting and grinding and molesting every last bit of ore in sight that I'm inclined to at just this minute. And then we'll get something done talk to you in half a second all right everybody welcome back uh, let's see here uh, I put a hopper up here and it is currently feeding iron ingots into the smeltery here and I am pouring that stuff as quick as I can I have completed uh, four blocks of copper and I got some seared bricks that I made, and now I'm going to make a tool forge. Oh, that's neat. It makes a flat one. Okay, so now I've got a tool forge. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick that right there. And now we get to make, I think, a longbow. No, that's a short bow. Where's the longbow? There's the longbow. Okay, so we got our bow limbs and a bow string and nope nope <laughs> there we go okay so that gives us a steel longbow reinforced two does eight and a half hearts on attack has a six second about draw speed about a ten second arrow speed and it's got room for modification that looks precious to me so the other thing I was looking at was arrows. Oh, we got a lemon. We got a lemon. There we go. Any more? Nope. That tree only has three lemons on it. I should pair off as much as I can and see if I can make a shoot or something. Uh, it turns out that this stuff is actually pretty good for arrows. So uh, let's see. By Roxury's arrow. Was it by Roxeries? It's only got a 0.5 heart attack, but they're poison 1, and they're weight 8.9, which is pretty heavy. So that looks good to me. So we're going to make some arrowheads, and uh, I don't have chickens. I don't have feathers. I have a lot of slime, though. I should make a slime tree. Yeah, slime tree. Okay, he's gone nuts. Yes, he has. How's it work? Come on, I know there used to be a way to do this. Oh man. Okay, maybe you can't do it here. Maybe that was a uh, agrarian skies thing. Slime tree. All right, let's just put tree. No slime slimy 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 sapling oh we can't make it we can't make one we gotta find one so I can't use slimy leaves for fletching okay well what else can we make fletching from uh, ghost wood feathers can't don't have feathers leaves uh, durability two and a half, break chance zero, accuracy 71. Can't do slime, can't do slime, can't do slime leaf. Darn. Okay, so it looks like probably we're going to end up using leaf fletching. Well, needs must, needs must. 
How's this going over here? Oh my goodness, it's going. Okay, so in order to make this thing work, all right, that's all done. I'm gonna have to put this stuff in here. What, what are you working on right now? It's still doing coal, my goodness. I had to make, look at how many blocks of redstone I had to make, because it filled the whole thing. I mean, it filled everything. I bet you I'm gonna have to do the same thing with coal in a minute here. Okay, well, moving right along though. Let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about this other thing we were wanting to do. We were wanting to do some stuff with capacitors. And I'm gonna need a bit more redstone for that, I think. So let's do that. Get you out. How's this going? Looks like three more big blocks of iron. Okay, so capacitor. Now what we wanted to make was this basic capacitor. Uh, actually what we're making is we're making that and it needs four basic capacitors so that's what it looks like and we can make nine of them so let's go ahead and do that take you out of there pour you pour you okay and let's see capacitor bank basic capacitor bank redstone block four iron ingots so we can make two of these puppies that's cool do I have four iron ingots on me I sure have redstone blocks. Let's put you there and you there. Put the redstone back and I want to crack one iron ingot. I'm going to take the cobble out. Why is there even the cobble in there? There. Okay. And I'm going to take that. There. And we will make... Uh, how we doing here? One more. Let's put you in there. And pour you. Okay. So, capacitor. Capacitor bank. Basic capacitor. That's what we want. And we can make two, and there we go. So let's go ahead and take this over here. And I'm going to put this thing... like so. And this is kind of a multi-block. You can see it's already sucking in energy. 10 RF a tick. Okay. And, oh, oh, this can charge stuff. That's right, I had forgotten about that. So now I can grab I can grab my jetpack. And now I have a way to charge my jetpack. think yes oh that that's going real nice and quick that's awesome how's this doing okay it wants a little more um, let's get you let's get you there we go uh, so the next step is going to be I mean aside from like Viroxeries arrowheads and stuff which is not not honestly the next big step, let's face it. The next big step in Ender IO is going to be a better kind of generator. Because this just isn't really doing as much as it could. It just isn't. Um, I mean, it's... You look at this, it's slowly trickling in to this 2 million RF container. Probably because most of its uh, processing is happening here. What's going on? Oh my goodness, that's what's going on. Okay, well. Let's do lapis. And I want block of lapis. Yeah. Let's make a bunch of those. Oh my goodness, look at it all. Okay. What's it working on? Diamond, and then it'll work on nether quartz. 
My goodness, look at all this stuff. Okay, let's put you there. Let's put you there. Wow. So much stuff. So very much stuff. Um, coal. I'm having to convert things to block form just to be able to hang on to it all. That's pretty crazy. And man, just thinking. Um, maybe 45 minutes ago when I started recording, I had <laughs> almost none of this stuff. You know? I mean, this thing's tripling, basically, is what it's doing. So, that's pretty crazy. So, we need a better generator. And generator, the other generator, I think it's a liquid generator. And there was a way to make liquid for it. Uh, burns liquid fuel. This all looks pretty doable. I've actually got a, uh, that takes one of these, and I've got one in my inventory. How convenient. Um, so there was a way to make fuel. Fuel, 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 rocket fuel. Hooch is fuel. 60 RF a tick, 6,000 burn time. 160 RF a tick, 7,000 burn time. That's kind of awesome. Fire water. 80 RF a tick, 15,000 burn time. Okay, so 80 RF, 160 RF. This is one half the RF a tick of the rocket fuel, but it's more than twice the burn time, so we want to be able to make fire water. So that begs the question, how do we make fire water? Uh, blaze powder and redstone in a vat with hooch. Okay, I don't have any blaze powder, I don't think, so let's, let's back that up a step and go with here we go where did it all go rocket fuel rocket fuel where'd the other stuff there was fire water and there was hooch well what's in rocket fuel uh, redstone and gunpowder how is my gunpowder looking no I have some not much it's another lemon gunpowder where is my gunpowder? Yeah, it's my only ender pearl. I have 19 gunpowder. That is not going to make us a huge load of stuff. Hmm. That would work a hell of a lot better once I had a spawner with like an, a um, creeper in it. And then I could just keep killing the creeper with a uh, thing of me. I know there's some kind of grinder tools in this that I could use. And there, no, there's a spawner in this I can use. So I need more power before I can really make that happen. So I guess we have to start with the basic stuff, which is the hooch. And that's water and wheat and sugar. Yeah, there's just one problem with that. Okay, I can boil honey to make sugar. And I can press beets to make sugar or I can find sugar cane. Okay, so I either need to find honeybees, and I ain't seen any, or I need to find some beets or some sugar cane, or I need to breed some beets or some sugar cane using agricraft. And that's going to mean a lot of time and a lot of work, and that's not going to happen on camera. Um... Well, we're, this is spilling slowly. So's that chest. Man, a stack and a half of diamonds. I'm on what? This is episode five, six, something like that? Stack and a half of diamonds, episode five or six? How crazy is that? That's pretty crazy in my opinion. Okay, rain is good. Um, let's see here. What did I come down here for? Oh, yeah. I came down here for arrowhead pattern. So let's grab one of them and a fletching pattern. Let's grab one of them. And I don't really need a well, let's do it. No, I think I've got it to rod pattern. Well, 
misstep. Let's go here. Take you out. Put you in. And I've got some shards. Excellent. Uh, fletching. Do I need to do that for fletching? I don't think I do. I think fletching, you just make it by shearing some leaves and stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our pour. We're going to need some gold in there. And if I remember right, it takes two gold to make a pour. Whoops, how'd I end up with four gold? Okay, I guess I had some already. This is crazy looking. Okay, so what else can we do? Uh, shears. And we will go shear a tree or two. I don't think I need a whole lot of this. And there's our fletching. And we'll take some leaves. Two, three. Sure, that's plenty, I think. Four now. That will do four now. Okay. And pour. Do I have a tool rod? Yeah, I do. Okay, and now that we got that, I can do my time-honored chucking of the stone piece off the edge, keeping in mind that this time I really did chuck the stone piece off the edge, not something else. So this should give us our poison arrows. And I'm going to make the tool rod out of the same stuff. There we go. Now we should be able to come over here. That's a crossbow bolt, I think. Yeah, that's bolts. Where's arrows? There's arrows. Okay. So you and you, oh, and you, ta-da, and that makes, why is that not making? Arrow head, arrow shaft, what's the difference between an arrow shaft and, can I do that instead? Huh, okay, I guess I can, interesting, accuracy 71%, that's because of the stupid leaves. Well, that's still a lot of arrows, and we can stuff these things back in here, and they'll be melted down again. Okay, so for the moment, I'm going to put the spare stacks arrows over here. And um, we were going to make a generator thingy. So let's see. Generator. Combustion generator. So, electrical steel. How do we make electrical steel? Iron, coal powder, and silicon. Okay. Oh, look, I've got coal powder. Um, silicon. I've got a lot of iron. Okay. That and I want one more coal powder. I imagine I'm eventually going to have to make a whole heap of this stuff, but for the moment, I'm just going to make what I need to make this dingus here. Okay, so let's see. I got those three things the machine I need. Good, I've still got the iron bars. So let's do that thing. Okay, why isn't it? That's correct. 
There it goes. The thingy was missing. That confused me. Okay, so I need those piston two gears. Ah, uh, I'm going to have to make some more iron bars. Okay. That's that. Let's crack that open. And let's go get some glass. One, two. And let's get some redstone. Okay. This thing. Good. And then I'm going to need a piston. And for the piston, I need some wood. I need to move some of this stuff out of my inventory. I've got too much of this. Don't need you. Lemon can go with the other lemons. Well, you're not a lemon. You're a lemon. Okay. Uh, what else am I missing here? Got those. Waiting on that. Basic gear. Four sticks, four cobble. Okay. It won't let me do that in the backpack thing. Okay, so I don't want that in there. Okay. And now, what am I missing? Oh, I need the stuff from over here. There. That looks disturbingly like iron. I can see where I'm going to get confused about that sooner or later. Ta-da! And there's a combustion generator. I'm going to put that right here. Fuel. Coolant. Okay. All right. Interesting. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's put you here. Okay. Now, the tricky part, let's see. Take that out, take that put that in. Alright, so let's see. Coolant, I'm pretty sure, is just water. Do I not have an actual pool type thing? I think I do not have a pool type thing. Okay, let's do this. I'm just going to steal that. And I'm going to... Oh, lily pad. There. Okay, and I'm going to run over here. And I'm going to put you there. There we go. And the lily pad. Yay. Okay. Things are happening. So let's try that on as coolant. Huh? Eh? Okay, 2,000 out of 5,000. That doesn't look like 2,000 out of 5,000, but if you say so. Oops. There. 
These are acting like the forestry things. You just click them with a bucket and it happens. That's kind of cool, I guess. Okay, 5,000. All right, so let's see. We were using for fuel. We were talking about hooch, I think. Rocket fuel. Hooch, which is water and sugar, but I can't make sugar yet. But it comes out of a bat. Let's see what goes into a bat. All right, more of the same. More of the same. Four electrical steel this time. So we'll put that there. And four coal powder. And four uh, silicon. Yeah, I'm just going to have to like make a stack of this at some point, I can tell. Alright, so what else was in that? Two fluid tanks and another machine chassis. Okay. Things we can do. What am I missing? I don't have enough iron. There we go. And I need a cauldron and a furnace. We can do that. And look at me just blowing through the iron like I don't even care. Wow. This is crazy how much stuff I got, how quickly. Okay, need the capacitor. That's going to be copper, gold nuggets, and redstone. I got the redstone. Going to need the copper and gold nuggets. Well, there's one copper powder. Hook that in there. And exactly four gold nuggets, which is exactly what I need. Crazy. Crazy. Some point I have to make some more Hatteroth and get that out of there just so I have something to repair my silk touch pick with. Man, this rain. Area around here, the rain is always so cold, and it's enough that the Minecraft rain makes me feel chilly. How crazy is that? A little bit of a white noise effect, and here I am being all, oh, now I feel cold. Okie doke. And you, can we do that? What am I short on? Oh, I'm short on, uh, I need to make more bars. Wow. So many bars. You'd think they'd last a little longer with 16 of them per, per thing. Okay, now let's... Oh, nope. I need my four uh, what's my stuff here. There we go. Yeah, I'm just going to have to leave that thing running and making, making stuff for a bit, I think. But, hey, there's our vat. How cool is that? I'm going to just set it here for the moment. I assume it takes power. Dump output tank. Does it take power or does it take fuel? That's a good question. Um, let's look at that. 10,000 RF, so it takes power. Okay, so if it takes power then I ought to be able to oh neat it keeps the power inside it that's awesome there we go okay now it's getting power um, yeah 
all right well hey it's a start you know it's a start but in theory eventually I'll be able to make this thing output fuel straight into the thing next to it I think I think it'll work that way yeah yeah it will cool all right just need to breed some sugar cane and that's gonna take like all evening I'm not going to do that on camera. That would be cruel and unusual. But, hey, uh, despite the rain, um, we are moving right along here. And I am going to go ahead and hook some more lava into this. And that will gradually get it filled up. In time, I'm going to need to expand that. And I need to figure out some way of getting more Endermen around here and getting more Ender Pearls. Because I have not seen hardly any of them since the first couple days. I mugged that one guy down over there. But, uh, yeah, no idea. I'm going to have to figure out some, some way to hunt Endermen. I may have to just make a black box that's three high and, you know, cross my fingers and do a whole lot of, uh, you know, uh, sacrificing chickens or something. I don't know. I do not know. All right. That's enough of that. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I think we're progressing pretty nicely, and maybe in an episode or two we'll be ready to do our own uh, dimension kind of thing. So y'all have fun, and call your congressman. Let him know cake is good for you.